Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Brandon here, and today we're going to make a Minecraft server on our Mac computer. Now this is a regular server, this is not the bucket server, so if you want to add plugins and modify the game, please go to the bucket server tutorial. This is just for the standard game. So make sure you have Minecraft installed, and then we're going to go back to the Minecraft website here, and we're going to go to the downloads page minecraft.net slash download and here we're gonna to go to the multiplayer server and we're gonna to go to the dot jar file the dot exe is for windows so we need this so we're gonna click on the jar file let it download once this downloads we're gonna drag it to the desktop I'm gonna clear that and now we're gonna to go to this link for the wiki article for a tutorial so this is the tutorial here this is basically all Windows instructions. We're going to go all the way down to where it says Mac right here. Now the one thing you need is Java installed on your computer. If you don't have it, just go to Java's website and have it installed. Now here we need two things. We need this code and we need this command. So before we use those, we're going to right click on our desktop and we're going to create a new folder. Now you can rename this to whatever you want. I'm going to call it Minecraft Server. gonna save that and now we're gonna take our minecraft jar file move it into the folder and then we're gonna to go to our search and we're gonna type in text and we're gonna open up the text edit application once we open that up we're gonna format the text to make plain text and then we're gonna go back to the web browser and we're gonna copy this code here command C Go to the text edit, command V. I use command X to make the text bigger so it's easier to see. So from here, this is the line of code that we're gonna modify. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open our Minecraft server folder that we just made, and we're gonna look at the name of our jar file. What I do is I just name this name to match the jar file so that once we execute this command, it will open up the right file. Once I do that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to allocate the amount of memory I want to use for the server. I always go with 4 because I have 16 gigs of memory. If you're unsure of how much memory you have, go to the Apple icon, go to About This Mac, and you'll see right here it should say memory and it'll tell you how much. Now I go all the way up to 8 to 10. I don't ever go past 10 or 12 never exceed the memory you have your computer needs that memory to run its operating system if you allocate too much to the server your computer will not run properly and it will probably crash so always keep it under your amount so here we got it set up four gigs of memory it's going to execute this command this file will open from here we're going to hit command s and we're going to save this and I'm gonna save it as a basically it's gonna be a start dot command file and I'm gonna save this in my minecraft server folder that I created on my desktop I'm gonna click save as you can see there it is I didn't spell start right but that doesn't really matter I just add it in there. So once I do this, I usually right click and give it a, a label and just to color code it. Now this here we don't need. We can exit text editor. And next what we have to do is we have to go back to search and we're going to open up terminal. Type in term, it should come up. Hit terminal. And now, what we're going to have to do is set up the terminal to allow this command to run. And we need this command, chmod space a plus x. Add a space after the x, and then drag and drop your start.command into the terminal. Then hit return. It should be good. It should just reset. Everything should be fine. If you see some error messages, something was wrong. So once this is done, we can exit the terminal go back to our server folder and double click start.command it's going to ask if you want to open it you're going to say open 
and you're going to get these two folders open up here. This bash one we can just exit out of. This this Java one is our terminal running our server. This is the Minecraft server. You can see it running here and then you see we got new folders appearing in our folder we created. We got files and folders in there. So once this is all done loading it'll say done. So now my server has been generated. Everything has been completed. But in order to play on the server, I have to know the IP address and the port that it's open up to. So here we're going to go under Server Properties. Just going to make that bigger. Command Plus. And then I'm going to look for the server port number. This is a default number, 25565. So I'm going to write that down and remember that because I'm going to add that to the end of my public IP address to access the server. So once I get that, you can see there's other things you can modify here, but we don't really need to do anything yet. So I'm just going to exit the text editor. I'm going to go ahead and close my server folder. I'm going to go back to the internet. I'm going to go to Google and type in what is my IP address and search it and this is my public IP address. This is what I need to type in to play the game on the server. I'll type in this IP, I'll hit the colon sign and then type in the, the port number and that'll be the address that I give to my friends to play my server. So I'm going to go ahead and just remember that and write it down. Then what we do is we'll go to Minecraft, we'll open the game. We got our server running in the back. As you can see it shows you how much memory you're using, how much is free, and the tick time in milliseconds. And once we load up the game, we're going to go to Edit Profile and we're going to use the version that we downloaded, which is 1.7.4. I have it set to the latest and that is the latest so it will run just fine. So we're going to save that. Now we're going to go to the play. We're going to let the game load up. Once the game loads, we're going to go to multiplayer. Now from here, we're going to have to type in our IP address that we got from Google right here, plus the server port that we got from our preference folder, file, whichever. So I'm going to do add server, give it a name and then I'm going to type in the address of the server that I got. Then you hit colon and then type in the port number and then done. Now if you did this correctly it should show you that your server is online and running. Now I can join the server and play it. It should load up just fine. There it goes, it's generating the world. Now, I can play this, but my friends can't play it yet because I haven't assigned the port forward information to allow them to. So this varies on what kind of router you have. So I recommend doing a search for how to port forward. And this page here comes up, which is really useful. It shows you all the different port routers and um, how to set up the ports and all that good stuff so I recommend that because what I do is I use my Cisco router so if you have a Cisco router you'll be able to use this and figure it out so you're gonna go to your Apple icon and go to system preferences once you're in the preferences you're gonna go to network now from here there are two addresses you need this one is the IP address for the computer this is the address that your server is running on now this address is your address for the router. If you notice they're the same up until the last two numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to type it into our web browser and we are going to connect to our our router. hit return and this should pop up here it's going to ask you for the name and password for your router so if you don't have this information you can go to 
the port forwarding website and find the default name and password for the router but if you have your router set up and had a it changed you'll have to have the changed password and name so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my information click log in and now I should connect to my Cisco router now this is nice it has a tab for applications and gaming you just go there and here you can assign your ports this is for a single port forwarding what you do is you, I just give it a name so I know that's my Minecraft port and then here you're gonna type in the internal external port numbers which is the number that we got from our preference file 25565 make them the same protocol I have set to both and then two IP address is the IP address of your computer once that's done I click enable and click save setting and then it saves it up and it's done once I have this step completed my friends can type in this address along with colon and then the port number and access my server and that's pretty much it so I hope that helped you guys. If it did, why don't you leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to comment. And uh, last thing, when you're done with your server, type in stop under the command for the terminal here. Hit return. Stop the server. You always want to stop the server before exiting the terminal just to make sure that it stops running properly. And then you can quit your terminal. And that's pretty much it. So here's your Minecraft server folder. Whenever you want to start your server, double click on that. Double click your start command file. And there you go. It should start right up. So there you go. Hope that helped. All right. Thanks, everybody.